Hello, my name is Joey Hadley with Hadley and Speakaboo Boxing. I have been training fighters for over 50 years, and today I would like to pass down some wisdom to you about boxing that I learned personally from Customato during the time that he was my trainer as a professional boxer when I lived with him in Catskill, New York. Let's get started. Make sure you always have your hand wraps rolled up. It just keeps them flat and easier to put on. Uh, once you get through using them, they may be a little sweaty. When you get home, throw them over a door for the night. But then always roll them up like this before you come to the gym. They're just a whole lot easier to put on if they're flat and they're certainly dry. We just unroll them. There are several different ways people wrap hands. Uh, some people wrap between the fingers. Uh, spread your fingers out far. Leave them spread out. When I wrap a, a guy that's going to fight and I use gauze, I wrap the gauze between his fingers. But on hand wraps, I don't. Just put it on the thumb, come underneath the wrist. Go around the wrist three or four times real tight. Then come up to the knuckles four or five times real tight. Now here's where everybody gets confused. Under the thumb, all the way around the thumb, back under the wrist. Then back to the knuckles. You want to make sure the knuckles have a lot of padding so you don't bust open a knuckle. And always end up with it on the wrist, real tight. There you go. Okay. You've got to keep your fingers spread out. If you wrap your hands where your fingers are together like that, and you start hitting the bag, it hurts. So that's why you want to keep your fingers spread out as far as you can go. Again, we'll come under the wrist three or four times. Then go up to the knuckles four or five times. Then under and all the way around the thumb, back under the wrist, back to the knuckles. If you ever do get a cut on your knuckles, it takes a while for it to heal, so it's really important that you wrap your hands with plenty, plenty of padding on those knuckles. There you go. Excellent. Excellent job. <laughs>
I went out as soon as the bell rang and threw a straight right hand, which was my best punch. And they had some kind of gloves, I think they were from Mexico, but the thumb on the gloves, or at least on the gloves I had, kind of stuck out. And I hit him and wobbled him, but when I hit him, the bone came through my thumb, which I didn't know it at the time. I just knew my thumb was killing me. And uh, I couldn't throw the right hand anymore. When I went back to the corner, uh, my corner guy asked me, he said, why aren't you throwing the right hand? And I said, it's killing me. I don't know what I did with it, but it really hurts bad. I can't throw it. So I was pretty much one-handed uh, the, all the second round. And he cut me in the second round and uh, the doctor stopped it between the uh, second and third round because of my cut under my eye. But it's a good thing he did because I was just a one-handed fighter anyway. And then uh, that night, uh, Elvis was performing uh, in Las Vegas and Red West, uh, who had become a friend of mine, set it up where my dad, my boxing coach, and, and me went to Elvis's show and we had seats right down on the front. It was great. Elvis was just killer that night. And then after um, the concert, he had a party up, up at his hotel room and we all got to go to that party. And that's where that picture was made uh, of me and him. But it was a great night and he was really, really nice to everybody. Just a regular guy and uh, something I'll never forget. Show the camera your scar. Can you see my scar? Uh, bring it in a little. Back. All right. Yep, bone came all the way through my darn thumb. These are peekaboo boxing gloves that I had specially made. They're 18 ounce, all leather, and they will be available to you uh, shortly. We're gonna set up a link either on the website or the Facebook page. So please stay tuned, they're on their way.